techniques that we can do MMA wise from a, a tied up or clinch position. Uh, one technique that we're going to work on is we're going to work into a, a tie clinch and we're going to work on a technique called a round knee. It's a technique, it's a, it's a knee strike that not many people know about, not many people use. It can be very, very effective, especially in cutting somebody open, which as we know in MMA and, and in fighting, they start bleeding, they can stop the fight. Second thing we're going to work into is how to take someone's back. And once we take their back, in looking for a takedown or a choke, if they're defending real well, how to drop down, take them down, and go into an inverted heel hook. So, we tie up. When we're tied up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop my hand through and I'm going to tie up and clench his head. Okay? Most people make the mistake of hugging the neck. Don't hug the neck. If I hug his neck, he can push his hips forward and he can keep me from pulling his head down. I mean, you can see I can hang on him and he's not going anywhere. But if you can grab the crown of the head, I can grab here and overlap my hand here. Now it's going to help to keep his head down because instead of utilizing his hips to stay up, he's got to use his neck. And there's no way he's going to be able to use his neck against my entire body. So tie up one, two, put your forearms right across the face and squeeze those elbows tight. Now he's trying to use his neck to pull me up and that's just not going to happen. Once I get in this position, I'm going to start softening him up with knees. I'm going to work into the body, to the legs, and back up to the head. Now natural human reaction dictates if I'm pulling his head down, in most cases he wants to pull his head up. So I'm going to let him. When I pull his head down, I'm going to throw the knee and allow his head to come up. As soon as it does, I'm going to slide one hand down to his neck. The other hand is going to come up vertical right across the jaw and head. So one hand's hugging the neck, the other hand's going to go vertical like this. You want your hand curl on the top of their head and your forearm right across the side of their face. Now, the hand that's on the neck, that same foot is going to step back to the ball of the foot. When you step back on the ball of your foot, you're going to stretch your arms out. Now, you want to get their chin deep underneath your arms. Touch your elbow and forearm together. If you start to squeeze from there, your partner should feel a choke. What you don't want is you don't want their chin inside that space. Okay? If their chin is separating and you're just squeezing onto their face, they're going to get out. Get up underneath and collapse it so you have total control over their head. Now your leg comes up, around, and you drive that chin forward and down right across their forehead. The idea is almost like a punch. Trying to use your shin to make contact right into the forehead and then break that bone down across the head. If you can create that opening and then strike it down across the forehead, you're going to slice them open. Okay? I learned this technique from a gentleman named Matt Hume. And Matt Hume used this on Pat Militich back in the day. Okay? So, you tie up, I scoop through, lock them up. Start softening them up with knees. Now, throw the knee to get their head to come up. Immediately, hug. Now, step your foot back, stretch. Up, around, and drive forward. Great thing about this is you don't have to let go. I can still keep them tied up to start working into whatever else it is I'd like to accomplish. Position wise, stepping your foot back. I throw my knee, head comes up. Hug, step your foot back on the ball of the foot. Now, when you lift your knee, typically on knees you're gonna lift up and drive forward. On this one, go to the side first. When you lift, Lift your knee back, almost like your knee's going to try to touch the back of your shoulder. Up, around. Come up on the ball of the foot again, and shoot your knee forward. Extend the hip, almost like a, a Thai push kick, and extending that hip. So, up, around, to the side, around, and drive forward with the hip. Tie up, scoop through, getting his head, not his neck. I start <laughs> softening him up with knees. I throw a knee to get his head to rise. I slide one hand down to his neck and the other hand up above his head. I step my foot back on the ball of my foot. Forearms up under the chin, 90 degrees on the lift, around, and drive that shin right into his forehead. Now the takedown option off the clinch, where he's defending himself very well from the takedown and from me taking his back. We're tied up. I need to get under this arm. If I just try to push his arm up and duck my head, there's no way I'm getting under there. Okay? Part two, the more I duck my head, the more chances I have of getting caught with a knee or getting stuck in some form of guillotine. So I'm going to stay fairly vertical. 
I like to drop down to one knee. Keeping my head as tight to his body as possible and keeping my head buried in between his shoulders, I'm going to lock him up. By keeping my head buried into his shoulders, if he starts throwing some elbow strikes, I'm not going to get caught with him. Now, I would love to take him down. Look for, look for anything, pulling him down to the ground, or perhaps coming up and taking his back so I can look into some form of choke. Now, when I get to this position, he's defending both very, very well. He's not allowing me to take him down. He's not allowing me to take his back. So I'm going to throw myself on the ground. Whatever direction I'm looking, I'm going to take that same side foot and I'm going to shoot it across to the opposite side. When I shoot it across to the opposite side, I'm actually going after the leg closest to me. So I'm going to take my leg, I'm going to bring it up above his knee, figure four in my legs to put pressure on his knee. That's going to cause him to drop down. Now, I turn towards his other foot, clamp my elbow, lock it, and now I'm in position to sit back for an inverted heel hook. And the inverted heel hook is going to attack not only his knee, but it's going to attack his ankle as well. So we get tied up, I shoot in, I come in tight, all the way around, taking his back. Once again, I would love to be able to take him down and go for a choke, he's not allowing it. So, whatever direction I'm looking, I shoot that foot to the opposite leg. Now I bring my leg up above his knee, figure four of my legs to take him down. Immediately turning towards that foot. The toe should fall right into your armpit. Take your wrist, clamp it down to the Achilles tendon. Keep your elbow tight. If you're like this, you're not getting it. Clamp your elbow tight to your rib cage. Palm down. Reach inside, lock. Squeeze the legs tight, extend your hips, and rotate in and get your inverted heel hook. So I tie up. I come down and around. He's not allowing the takedown. I shoot in, up, over, lock in, clamp it tight, and finish with my submission. Just a couple different options from a tight up position.